Hey, welcome to another summer of the Street Squad. Like always, I'm Vinny. Rosie. And, and on this episode, we're talking about a really, really good movie. I enjoyed it. It's called American Fiction. It was I? Uh, what? It was, I thought it was, was I? I thought it was funny. But you know what? You know what? When I saw the trailers, the trailers were funnier than the actual movie. I think yeah. it was it was funny because it wasn't trying to be funny. Yeah. It was it 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 was it was just it was, funny. It was a it was a dramedy basically. Yeah, but it was I think it was really I think it was really well done. Uh, you know, I, I think I the think, beginning I get the beginning was funny, and then his interactions with the uh, publisher mm-hmm. were funny, but everything else was just me. I like I like kind of you know the story and what they did with you know Jeff, I like Jeffrey Wright's character Monk. Oh yeah, he, no, he, you know he's a no. teacher. No. Wait, Sterling we'll get there. Shut K. up. We'll get there. Hold on. Can you calm down? Can you can you close your butthole for a second? Easy. I ha- easy. I had to, I was- easy. I know. Relax. We'll we'll, we'll 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 get to that point. I think Jeffrey Wright's monk is really good. We get it we get introduced to so this is an interesting movie because it's 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 about a a, a black a black author, right? They don't want to publish his books. <laughs> Right, companies don't really. They find his his books. They're good, but they're just not what people want to want want to read. Until he mm. until he he goes and he 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 sits in on a Q and A for another writer, played by um, what's her name? Issa Rae. Issa, right? Rae. Issa Rae. She played by Issa Rae. Um, and her, <laughs> the story or- she wrote was like so like stereotypical like of what you hear like what you see in movies and stuff like that of interpretation of like black people right and then so people and who who's the people that love that book the white people so that's like this is what the movie's about and he, he and then you get monk getting essentially so frustrated to the point where he writes something like that as a joke and people love it and he wants to go he, he writes it as ghost right ghost written out of it yeah. But, and I th- I think that was a really good premise for the movie, but ma- the movie ma- pathology. But the movie the movie <laughs> goes deeper, b- more into like other than it's not just about that. It's like it's about like his 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 life, and I like the whole beginning where yes, he gets you get introduced to his mom was getting has what dementia. She's getting Alzheimer's, mm-hmm. right? Alzheimer's yeah. and dementia, mm-hmm. and then his sister is taking care of her, and the other the old the the other brother, which is yes Sterling K Brown, which is re- he's really good in the movie too. He's so good he's, at stuff. But he's good in a lot of things that you see him. Yeah. Dude, in The Predator, he was hilarious in that movie. He was great yeah, in I The even, Predator. What I even trying to be. He was one of the best parts of The Predator. Um he's he's good in he's good in all these movies that he does and he's really good in this one too. And who I was surprised with, yeah, she's not in the movie that long, but uh, Tracy Ellis Ross as his sister. And I thought that was a whole joke thing when when she was having that I guess was a stroke or a seizure or whatever she had. Mm-hmm. Uh, and just spoilers, you know, I thought when I saw the trailer, it was the mom who passes away, and they're like, "Oh, we have to take care of all this stuff." But same here. It was. It turned. It turns out like it's not the mom. It's it's actually. And then she was the one that was the caretaker for the mom for the most part, the caretaker. Mm-hmm. Then now Monk has to take up that job, right? And you know who had I hadn't seen in such a long time was that that lady from Living Single. Yep, which, which plays the love interest for Monk. That's where I was like, mm-hmm. yeah, I was like, dude, yeah. where does where has she been? She hasn't been doing anything in a long time, and you see her in this movie. I think this movie was really well done. It was really it had its funny moments, and it, it, you know it it tells like if if you know when when you see TV and you see like when we see stuff with like cholos and it's like all that stereotypical stuff, people love it. Right, because that's kind of the whole. That's the whole point of this is like the stereotypical stuff is what people people want to hear. But when yeah, that's, are real, that's, that's, yeah, I I agree, fucker. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think that's the message. Yeah, and <laughs> but I really I I enjoy this movie a, a lot more uh, than I thought I. Did, I liked I was gonna, it. I, I didn't I say I didn't it, like but, it. But I I like the I liked everyone's performance in it. I think that's the the, mm-hmm. the best part about it is that all, yeah. all the performances are really really good. And then every time I see Jeffrey Wright, I just remember him from Shaft. Oh, okay. <laughs> I remember him from Shaft at the beginning, and not just any scene in the Shaft when he's taking a dump. <laughs> that's the scene that I remember him in. when he's like he's talking to Christian Bale and he's taking a dump, and you just hear uh, bloop. 
It's like the it's like the John like John, the John like that's what I remember every time when I see him I see like I see his, his you know hair what? slick. You're fucked up because now that's all I can think about. Now that's that's right. what he I remember. Like... He, was in, he was in Shaft. He was one of the villains in, in the, the 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 remake of Shaft with uh, with Samuel L. <laughs> Jackson. He's also Spectre Gordon. So I mean, in the Batman, mm-hmm. he was in Shaft. <laughs> <laughs> that's no matter he's the, what. He's the voice. He's I the voice of the watcher. Westworld when I see him. See, I only saw one season of Westworld, so mm-hmm. I didn't finish watching it. Uh, but I saw Shaft a bunch of times. I saw it in yeah. theaters, and I saw it when it came out. It's yes. still a good movie. <laughs> I know, I know you did. That's right. <laughs> over and easy, over. easy, easy, guys, easy, <laughs> easy, sailor. <laughs> it's talking about penises. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We get it. We get it. No, but you get but, it, look, Shaft. But but, but Jeffrey Wright does a lot of stuff, and he's in a lot of different movies. <laughs> He's in a lot of different movies, and he he's 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 really good in all of them. But he's really good yeah. in this one because like and Sterling King Brown as the brother as as the brother who is getting a divorce because he was gay this whole time and he was married. He's getting a divorce and he has he does drugs and is he is was he a teacher too? From what I remember, he's a doctor. He's a doctor, right? Yeah, plastic surgeon. He's a plastic mm. surgeon. Um, but yeah, he's just he's just living his life now that he's out mm. out in the open, and I that relationship also between the the lady that takes care of his mom and them, right? I thought that was really good too. Where she's where where they when they show, when they show up to the to the beach house and he's there with his with his boy toys, and then he, and they're all in their underwears, and she she's like, yeah. I don't care, you can stay, and like the other monk mm-hmm. was like, you need to leave, you need to leave, we're gonna have a wedding. He's like, no, you can stay, yeah. and everyone's having a good time. The but I think one of the, the to me the one of the funniest scenes of the movie is when they're spreading the ashes on the beach and the neighbor comes over. You guys got a permit? <laughs> <laughs> and then he's like, I'll beat, your ass. "I'll beat your ass." He was like, "I th- <laughs> see, there's there's moments in the movie that are really funny. The 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 conversations that they have like between the author and uh, and Monk and the whole the whole trick that they play. Then when you get Adam Brody's character." And I like the way that they ended the movie, where it's you mean you mean the publisher because he is the author. I mean, yeah, between Adam Brody and the and the and the author with Monk, right? Between the scenes where he's pretending to be this oh. ex-convict, right? And I, I'm still not sure what the actual end if this whole movie was just written by Monk, by the character mm. by the Monk character. A lot of it was like over dramatized or like because we get that at the very end the whole like that it's now being because it's been like spo- like in the movie being said that it's going to be a movie but the way that they end the movie i'm not sure what the true ending of this movie is and how it goes and i that's i i, I did like the way they did that the open-ended ending yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah 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 uh, no i'm just uh I, I liked it. I just I don't have much to say. It's not. Uh, it was good, but it wasn't like great. I I thought it was I thought it was really good. I think it's deserving of whatever awards it's getting right now. And well, it I mean, was a it, movie it, that flew it, under the radar for me. I when I first saw, I think I saw the trailer right before it came well, out for a like while, on digital. For a while there, you you chose not to watch trailers, so you don't want X anyone run into things. Yeah, yeah. And then, but when I go to the so, movie I mean, theater, when I go to the yeah. movies. I would run into it. That was the first time I saw it. I forgot what movie we went, we went to go see, and I saw the trailer for American oh, Fiction. Oh, it was, uh, it was at um, the, 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 the Silent Night. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, thanks for reminding me. <laughs> okay, but that was the only good thing that came out of going to watch Silent Night in the theater was I saw the trailer for American Fiction. Made me want to watch this movie, so I was waiting for it to come out, and it came out on digital, and I saw it on digital, and I'm surprised I was it was it was a really, really good movie. It It didn't... It was different than the trailer. The trailer made it seem a lot more comedic, but it was definitely yes that in in the dramedy aspect. But I I, I, I had a di- I had a different uh, f- when I saw the trailer. I thought okay, so this movie's about a guy who gets gets uh, who's an author, isn't selling his book as much, so he writes a, a book be- uh, as a as a fuck you to everybody who says hey I need to write I need someone to write a book like this. And it's he had, the and, called. well, the book is called "Fuck." Yeah, no, but but in the trailer, it felt like the Sterling character wasn't his brother. Yeah, it felt like it felt like it was just some guy they hired to play the part of the author. You know yeah. what I mean? That's how that's how the trailer felt. And when I saw a movie, I'm like, wait a minute, wait, they're completely different than I thought. But but I see, I like that relationship that they had because even even he said it's like, 
because I guess his dad was his dad was just as bad, like as bad as character character wise as Monk. And he's <laughs> they're like, all do- that's funny because all, all the they're kids all are doctors, doctors except for him. Except he, for no, Monk, oh, he's man. a doctor. He's a doctor technically. He has Th- a PhD. Thugonomics. Play a hated degree, but uh, he's technically a doctor. But you know, no one's ever gonna you know, ask him to do anything. It's just he had a doctor, doctor. She asked him. Yeah, but you know he died. She died. So there you go. They played doctor. He not played not doctor all doctors living... just save lives. He played doctor <laughs> with living single. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, because in the nineties kind of world, glad I got my girls. <laughs> but it's yes, it... <laughs> no. But see, with this, with this whole, I used the, to love that show. Me- though, that's the thing. The memory bank on this guy. I don't even remember the theme song. <laughs> uh, hey, the Queen Latifah was awesome. That um, Kim Fields is great. Uh-huh. The guy who played Overton. Uh, you remember the names too? <laughs> Jesus, I don't know. I'm I just remember you. Queen Latifah was on there, and Kim that's Fields. It. Uh, uh, what's the other? Oh, Kim something. She was on uh, Kim Living Coles? Color as well. Kim Coles. Kim, Kim was it Coles? Maybe. I don't. It know. Might be. I don't know. Uh, but then yeah. you got the guy with the brooding voice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, don't Bing Bing I play. <laughs> I play a lot of jazz flute. Actually, I think that guy was in. Uh, in... Oi! What? <laughs> Today? Okay. You're in the middle. You're in the middle of a, of a sentence. Of a sentence. I know. He's out another I don't know, a squirrel. Oh my god! Uh, come oh. on. So anyway, All right. yeah, so, on that oh, note, uh, no, but American fiction but is no, really yeah, good. It's re- it's really good, and it's one of those. It's it's a movie about essentially. And that was the word I was looking for, pandering, right? It was the pandering, like how people pander, like they be, people just want like to be pandered on, like it's like they want to make sure. I have the extra like, money for pandering. Mm-hmm. You want to fight a pander? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's, it's my he dream wants to be a pander. Uh huh. He looks like a pander. I think I think uh, there's a pander in uh, in the Deadpool movie, right? Is a dark pander? Pander pool. Pander pool. Uh, no, but it's uh, that's what the that's what the movie is about. It's about it's it's about them making something that is just what people want to hear. It's not the real world, it's not the real. And I and I think that's kind of what happens now. That's even what's happening with the movies, right? This is why movies are failing so much is because they're trying to pander to everyone, right? Why why are yeah. all the Disney? Why is all that not failing? Because they're trying to they're trying to do what people think that they want. It's not what people want. But in this movie, it's like they're, he's writing a book, and it's like, oh, we love it. This because it shows us yeah. it's so it's so authentic. It's so this, that, and the other. When it's just complete fabrication, and that's why I I, I enjoyed this movie, and I thought it, I thought it was funny. But I liked it was more the relationships, not only for the book, but because the book part is 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 smaller. But I think what was better was the relationship between the family, right, and the way Monk has to come to grips with how he treats his family, right, how he treats people mm-hmm. like that. Um, I thought I, I thought it was the performances are really good. And if, I think if you haven't seen uh, American Fiction, which is out now on digital, I highly recommend watching it. It's it. I think it's a it's a really it's a really good movie to watch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what he said. <laughs> I mean, you did say it, said it all. I mean, it's just it's. Yeah. Yeah, what it's, do you want it's, me to, it's a good. I'm not going to interject when you already it, said it. But I, but and I you don't it's, stop talking. It's a good. <laughs> it's a good movie. It's a good movie. I mean, I'm not going like, to go out of my way for a time. But if you're into it, oh, you yeah. end up enjoying stuff because it, and it flows so well. Where like you're just you're not, you know, taking taking into how long the movie is. I didn't check how long it was. So I was, unlike the This Is Me Now movie, is only yeah. 65 minutes long. Sorry. Just no, same. I when I saw the trailer, I I really wanted to see it, and I'm glad I did. I I did enjoy it. Not the greatest, yeah. but <laughs> no. But it's, it's one of no. It is. It is. I, I'm I'm with you though. Like it's not the greatest movie, but it's yeah. It it, it you don't hate but yourself it's, for it's, watching it. It's well rounded. Everything about it is. You feel is, for characters. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's done well. Yeah. Yeah, it's 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 done where you can watch it and be like, man, that was a good movie. That's mm-hmm. a good fucking movie. God damn. You know? Easy. So. Easy. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good that's a good that's a good cracker. God damn. <laughs> well, that, that, that would risk, right? No risk. No risk. Uh, God damn risk. Uh-huh. Oh, I, bro, I know, but I prefer club crackers. But um, club but, crackers but, but, but again, this just goes to show that it, a lot of right? things club is, crackers very buttery. A lot, a lot of things it's Keebler. 
It's delicious. It goes to show that a lot Processed of things that, that Sterling K. Brown does. Yeah. He, so bad it's good. He, he, he picks really good roles. Like a lot of the movies that he's been doing has have been have been really good. Like like again, Sterling K. Well, Brown, he, Jeffrey K. Wright, right? Uh, Jeffrey K. Wright. <laughs> Sterling K. Brown and Jeffrey K. Wright. Jeffrey Wright. Uh they they, they they're both right now, they they're the movies that they're in have been have been really good. And Jeffrey uh Jeff Jeffrey Wright is doing like he does smaller parts in other movies, and he's good in those parts. And then it's, with someone he's leading it, it, it's good. Like you said, well yeah. rounded. I really recommend watching this movie. And if you if you haven't seen it, it, it I think it's a really good movie. Yes. All right. Well, on that yeah. note, <laughs> yes. On that note, this is Mavini. This is Ozzy. <laughs> Man. We'll see you guys next time.